Do you have any words for today? Absolutely not. Nothing. Victor, anything? I don't have any words. Reese, any words for today? Uh, words of wisdom? Yes, anything. Don't. Don't say I don't know. Thanks. Look at God, bro. Look at God, bro. He's just there. That's God, bro. All here. Yeah. What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> of information. Unfortunately, I've seen more dividing and conquering in this order of operations, a heinous miscalculation of reality. For some, the only difference between a classroom and a plantation is time. How many times must we be made to feel like quotas, like tokens and coin phrases, diversity, inclusion? There are days I feel like one, like only, a lonely blossom in a briar patch of broken promises, but hey, I've always been a thorn in the side of injustice, disruptive, talkative, a distraction with a passion that transcends the confines of my own consciousness beyond your curriculum, beyond your standards. I stand here, a manifestation of love and pain with veins pumping revolution. I am the strange fruit that grew too ripe for the poplar tree. I am a dream act, dream deferred, incarnate, and a movement, an amalgam of memories America would care to forget. My past alone won't allow me to sit still so my body, like my mind, cannot be contained. As educators, Rather than raising your voices over the rustling of our chains, take them off, uncuff us, unencumbered by the lumbering weight of poverty and privilege, policy, and ignorance. I was in the seventh grade when Ms. Parker told me, Donovan, we could put all of your excess energy to good use. And she introduced me to the sound of my own voice. She gave me a stage, a platform. She told me that our stories are the ladders that make it easier for us to touch the stars, so climb and grab them, keep climbing, grab them, spill your emotions in the Big Dipper and pour out your soul, light up the world with your luminous allure. Right, to educate requires Galileo-like patience. Today, when I look my students in the eyes, all I see are constellations. If you take the time to connect the dots, you can plot the true shape of their genius shining in their dark <laughs> I'm good with attendance too, it's just, I hate tardy, because tardy is like, you need six. Hello. Did you? Nope, nobody's wrong with me. Partial blindness. I got That's what I got. Right now, I'm getting uh, what I can't like. Anyone in the meeting when I put it in one, it's coming down. Here's the essay. Yeah, I'm not Partial hungry. blindness. I mean, that could happen. Partial blindness. Yeah, that's what I got. 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 I don't have, that's not the side effect that I have right now. I could get that though. Alright, we're gonna start presenting our two presenting so I want you to take a few minutes. Wait, what? We're presenting those? Yeah. Yes. Bruh. Look over what part you want to present. Yeah. Okay. You can present All of my bags. Everybody of you know, any, you know, done. No more bags. No more, me and Austin are homies now. Me and Seth, Seth are homies now. I mean, who do I got, who do I got mad at me? Nobody. That man does not matter. He's like a, hmm, the semicolon key on a keyboard. He doesn't matter. Nobody uses him. Bruh. Well, after the five years, I hope to move out of the state, or at least out of the city. You know, I don't want to be like staying with my parents for like until I'm 30. <laughs> and I don't know that was important. <laughs> That's basically all. What about 10 years? 10 years? I don't know. I don't know. I can't think that far yet. So, kind of you think you're a time, though? <laughs> what type of engineering? So. Hmm? What type of engineering are you interested um, in? I'm thinking about like mechanical because like how it works is like electronics like the best one, but it's like the hardest. And then those who can't make the cut, they'll probably do civil. So I'm not trying to go there either. Okay. So mechanical is like the middle ground. Okay. Um, you said you want to move out of Richmond. Where? Where to? Where's the dream? Probably um, in the country, like Wyoming. Okay. 
I gotta see the hand cannon. It was like this big ass fucking revolver with a scope on it. What the fuck? And the fucking, um. Stop, oh, faggot. There needs to be a one on one interview. That was, spit on that, shit. <laughs> that was a little too close to, uh. Tell us your new name. If it got any closer, I would have hit the phone. Hey. Ooh, he would have got your ass, bitch. Come on, come on, Max, tell us more. You're Savage Lorenz now. What are you gonna do with that new nickname? Oh, he's cleaning his bread off. Really fucking dusty. Adidas stripes going. Ooh! <laughs> oh, he got the he got the burgundy shoes, shit green pants, he got the bright green earbuds. My boy in this shit. <laughs> ah. Rate his fit. Rate his fit. I'm gonna give that man a TBH 10 out of 10. Wouldn't wear again. Cause that's just Max. Now, Tristan, I spy with my little eye. Max game. The only really gang that supports rape is the Greenfield gang. All oh. I hear you do is talk about rape. I don't belong to a gang. I'm not affiliated. Are you gonna deny? The fact that there's a Greenfield gang? Is there yes, a... there is not a Greenfield gang. Is there a Max gang? Yes. And what do they do? What does Max gang they do? They fucking rape. And do... And when they, they rape... forcibly it's not, rape. And when they rape, it's not older <laughs> women gang? or women their age. That it's little girls. I mean, like, I mean like... Little girls. Elaborate more, Max. Elaborate. This is an interview, buddy. This is all on you. I don't ever say anything about rape. I never say one thing. I don't even say the word rape unless you that bring it up. That does not mean you've committed it. That could be the same to you. No, this will be the Salem it's witch trial. you talk about no, it. No, this will be the Max rape trials. Finding out if he's guilty or if he on me. For any of you watching this, Dylan Greenfield has a rape king. Do you it's have true. any answer to that? Any possible records of... Anyone you know that could uh, uh, justify what you're saying? The closest I've ever come to anything like that... Not you. ...was uh, when Max talked about how he raped several women. What was her name again? Uh, fuck, what was her name? Don't say a name, I'm gonna fuck. have to bleep it out. what was her name? We don't like names, especially Tristan. Oh yeah, we know Tr Mr. Untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sweatpants in 80 degree weather. Mr. Jacket in 80 degree weather. <laughs> it's a little hot for that. Damn, everyone's getting fucking attacked today. Today's different. You're, you're a little too quiet today, Reese. He's always I'm quiet. reflecting on myself. You've been reflecting on yourself again? Yes. I missed that project. Those were better days. How's the saga cooking up? Saga's going really well. Drawing inspiration from, from Max Gang Endeavors, Greenfield Gang Endeavors. 
He was once spliced with Mariah. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Let's get into this. <laughs> What's about to happen? I'm gonna say it. What? I'm gonna say it. Say what? At least my girl wasn't tainted by Max. I said it. Oh my I god. I fucking said it. Oh my god. This man just fucked oh my up god. my life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! How would you know? Oh my god. Because he told me. Oh yeah. You okay. goof. You fucking dirty goofball. Wait, hold on. What did you, you tell me? You <laughs> What did you say? Hold on. Hold you on, lost. Oh, me. What did you say now? Oh, you're you retracting your me. statement. A classic Max move. I didn't even understand what the fuck you just did. Why did you say anything about it? No, after I said my comment, I don't know what the fuck you rape said. Rape has been committed by the books. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. Max, gotcha. you told us how some girl sucked you off in the black of the fucking bleachers during a football game. What? I didn't say that. God, man, I don't know. You said something about Gary's on fucking crap. I don't know, crack. <laughs> yeah. How am I on Garrett's. crack? Garrett's. No, but I, I do recall a story. Yeah. About a hand job in Catholic school, fucking thighs in Catholic school, nothing in Catholic school, all done in Catholic school. What about Glen Allen school? Ooh, there are a couple stories about that, buddy. Uh, SOL testing. Storm Lee. No. Oh, Storm Lee. Ah, I want you to make me your slave. Storm Lee. <laughs> and there's evidence on Instagram when Max oh, messaged oh, her. A lot of evidence on he literally no. fucking messaged Does anyone still have the DMs? Me. No, I don't. I don't have the I don't have it I could. I could still have it. Dude, it was deep. Honestly, I, think I put it on Snapchat. Yeah. Honestly, if Hassan got a hold of that, oh my god. <laughs> Everybody I know knows someone about has it. it. I've seen a picture on someone's phone that they still Yeah, have. same. Um. Um. I don't trust Hassan. I trust you more than I trust Hassan. Max, Max crosses that, that line, line you're gay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Max, oh. stop. No. Ooh. Bruh. <laughs> got some gay now. That, that, that was his, that was his point. <laughs> I think it's more of a general thing than... Why can't I smoke with you? Benoit. Benoit. What? Hot burned it. Really? Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. So you out here with the real? Yeah. This is my project so far. This, this, that's it. These two slides. Did you make it yet? I'm not finished with it, but I'm almost done. So this is the language I'm going to put in. <laughs> it's not. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> what language is that? It's not really a language, it's a whistle. I always fucking shave underneath my fucking neck. That's a small ass. What? Ooh. Damn. How'd that feel? I still got the right hand. Yeah. That's the only thing I got back. Nick, yeah. That's the only thing I got back. Bro. Nick can still beat some ass any day of the week. Ain't that right? Hey, you're Nick. You can hit that quick yeah, ass two piece. Oh yeah, you know you know what I could do actually now for my license? I can actually just hand it to the officer, he just looks at it and he's like Oh he's like hell Oh shit it's Nick. No, he's like, oh my god, this picture was horrible. <laughs> they set they set me up, the DMV set me up with a horrible picture. Yeah, they always set everybody up with the picture. No, there's like four people that actually have good pictures. Yeah. Four. 